the Mercedes-AMG GT4 entryway coupe is at last here, the hotly anticipated family-sized adaptation of the Mercedes-AMG GT. However, you may think about how it fits into the Mercedes lineup when there's now a 4 entryway car, the CLS class, that created the idea in any case. Despite the fact that we don't have all the definite particulars, eyeball estimations have the GT at about an indistinguishable size from the CLS. In that capacity, we thought we'd complete a little plunge into the two modules and perceive how comparable, or extraordinary, they truly are. Outside The reason this kind of auto exists is about looks. Something else, the main fair size vehicle Mercedes would offer would be the E-Class. With the goal that's the place we'll begin. In the similitude section, they each have comparatively formed grills, and the back belts are shockingly similar with genuinely level highlights. Also, on account of the CLS 53 and AMG GT 53, they each have a curb form of the AMG GT car's canine bone lower grills. The all the more intense AMG GT 4 entryways get considerably greater vents, and the base CLS has a more unknown lower grill zone. The distinctions section is somewhat bigger. In spite of having comparable primary grille shapes, the AMG GT is recognized by the vertical bars that are currently an AMG trademark, began by the AMG GTR. The CLS has only a straightforward flat bar that is strong on the CLS 450 and split on the CLS 53. The AMG GT's headlights are lower and more even than the glaring lights on the CLS. There's additionally going ahead in the AMG GT's sheet metal, as well. The hood has a couple of unmistakable lumps like those on the SL300 gull wing. The AMG GT's bumpers and guards swell out significantly more than the relatively tight and lean CLS. Furthermore, obviously, the AMG GT is a hatchback, though the CLS is a customary car. Execution The other key viewpoint to these autos is their execution, and this is the territory that the two Mercs vary the most. The CLS class is offered with two motors, both of which are 3.0-liter turbocharged inline six chambers with a 48-volt electrical help. The essential motor found in the CLS 450 makes 362 strength and 369 pound-feet of torque. Climbing to the CLS 53 brings the yield to 429 horsepower and 384 pounds to foot of torque. Those are respectable numbers, which likely clarifies why the AMG GT basically begins where the CLS leaves off. The passage level AMG GT 53 utilizes that identical motor as in the CLS 53. It even has a similar 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 4.4 seconds. The AMG GT 63, however, swaps the 6 for a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 making 577 horsepower and 533 pounds to foot of torque. That is really a similar measure of energy and marginally more torque than the Green Hell Mammoth, the AMG GTR. The AMG GTS 4 entryway takes things up to 11, or perhaps 12, with 630 drive and 627 pound-feet of torque from a tuned-up rendition of that V8. Notwithstanding power prevalence, the AMG GT has a couple of other accessible execution cards to play. There's an accessible electronically controlled constrained slip differential for the back pivot. There's even electronic back wheel controlling accessible, like that of the two entryway AMG GT. Inside We now move from the most separated parts of these autos, to the slightest separated, the insides. Truly, the lodge plans of these two foreign entryways are almost indistinguishable. Observe for yourself and check whether you can pick which will be which. The best photograph is the CLS, the base is the AMG GT. The key contrast is the inside support. It's somewhat more, taller, and complement than the AMG GT, loses the simple clock, and has a shifter with the AMG emblem embellished in the middle. The CLS's shorter reassure makes more space for a capacity receptacle, and highlights just the infotainment controls between the seats, leaving the shifter on the directing section. Something else, the two autos utilize essentially a similar guiding wheels, vents, screens, speakers, trim and lighting. One other distinction is that the AMG GT is accessible with two diverse back seating setups. It can have either a three-situate seat, or two individual back seats with carbon fiber backs. The CLS manages with a back seat situate as it were. Presently, what's the distinction in space between those rearward sitting arrangements? Without specs or our butts in their separate seats, we'll need to keep a watch out. 
same thought, distinctive group of onlookers. Everything considered, while it appears a little odd that Mercedes offers two comparable looking and, measured autos, it turns out to be less interesting when taking a gander at the points of interest. Every supply low through car looks to changed purchasers. The CLS class is gone for those that need style and extraordinary execution, yet don't have to kill supercars on the end of the week. The AMG GT is for those that request world-class execution, however require something more common sense than the two-entryway AMG GT. Furthermore, when the AMG GT's valuing is discharged, that will without a doubt isolate the two considerably more.